This is Reverend McCunney with this week's church school lesson. The title is, Why Do You Worry? And that's the question for today. Why do you worry? For June 6, 2021, why do you worry? Jesus is teaching about this subject in today's text. And to demonstrate his point, he uses the illustration so that the audience may understand. Illustrations are an important part of sermons. And it helps the listener to understand the message. This is what Jesus is doing as he talks about Solomon's wealth, the flowers of the field, the birds of the air, the grass that withers. Before verse 25, Jesus is talking about how no man can serve two masters, for he will love one and despise the other. He gives the example of serving both God and money, and immediately following that, he begins with verse 25. So let us jump into our reading today, which will be Matthew, Matthew the sixth chapter, verse 25 through 34. Matthew the sixth chapter, verse 25 through 34. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food or the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If this is how God clothes the, the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more Clothe you, you of little faith. So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow, or worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. In these verses, he is telling us not to worry about life, what we would eat or drink, or the clothes that we will wear. Basically, do not worry about the basic necessities of life. I can imagine him pointing out in the air and while while saying this, look at the birds. They do not sow or reap or store away food in barns, yet the Heavenly Father feeds them. And look at the flowers in the field. They do not labor or spin, but even Solomon in all his wealth was not dressed as these flowers of the field. And they know about Solomon's wealth. It's a part of their heritage. God clothed clothe these flowers of the field. And just as God feeds the bird and clothes the flowers, he will do the same for us. He supplies life and he will supply our needs. Do the birds worry? How about the flowers? Do, do they worry? So why are we worrying? Maybe we worry when when our trust in God trust in God is weak. Our concerns arise when we fail to trust in our all wise and loving Father. The thing is, worrying does nothing for us. If you are someone like me, all it does is give you a horrible headache. You are much more valuable to him and was created more higher than any bird or flower. We have to trust God. He is the only one that can help us. He has, he is, and he will. So do not doubt him. You are worth it. You are worth more than flowers and birds. Just, just look at what happened on Calvary. You're worth it. And God is not telling us to be lazy and wait for Jesus to make provisions. 
It does not mean that planning is not necessary, but you have to do so in confidence that the Lord knows exactly what we need. We can trust him on that. Do not allow anxieties to ruin us or worry to leave us hopeless or um, full of fear. God will meet our needs. Instead, we need to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And when we put God's kingdom first, all else will fall into place. Anybody can be concerned about material things. And while we are concerned about material things, God is not so. While we may be placing people big, that, that gives more on a pedestal, God looks at the person. And he knows their heart. God calls us to desire him and to watch. Just, just desire him and watch him handle everything else. He does not want to see us worry about necessities. Why? Because he will provide. So that's why he tells us, don't worry. Because each day has enough trouble of his own. Of his own. Take it one day at a time. One step at a time. And don't worry about the things that you know that God is in control of. Father God, we love you. And we thank you, Lord, for this lesson. And thank you, Lord, for teaching us, Lord, not to worry. But instead, Lord, focus on you. Focus on your, your righteousness and your kingdom. So, Lord, help us to do that and place our trust in you, not in the things of this world. Please be asking your son, Jesus Christ's name. We love you, Lord. And amen.